Well hi guys, welcome to me, Fisher Rob, once again on the Novice Angler channel. Well I thought we'd do a, a little video today about some of you uh, out there asking me questions about fish care. Now that's a bit of a, a very broad area, you've got people that like to just pick the fish up, have their photos done with it and then pop them back, that's fine. But don't forget the fish is a cold blooded animal, it's not a warm blooded. So our hot hands can actually be quite uh, offensive to the fish and quite often they're wriggling away like mad when you're trying to take a nice picture. So um, what I would suggest is actually keep a piece of rag with you in your tackle box and then dunk it into the old river or lake and uh, get it down to the temperature of the water there and have it handy so that when the fish comes out if you want to take a picture just hold the fish in the rag and it keeps the fish nice and cool and uh, they're more likely to be a little bit more steady uh, for your picture taking. Secondly of course fish care. Well we've got a, a definite uh, must for most fishermen. We like to look after the stock we're catching. Don't forget that someone else's money usually on private lakes and grounds. They pay to have those uh, areas stocked for us to give us some great fish uh, fighting, a fish game um, when we're trying to catch little beasties. So um, do invest in something like this. This is the Steri 7. It's the extra um, antibiotic sort of thing for fish so that uh, once you've got the catch and you've dehooked them, if you find they, they're fighting you, has torn a little bit or uh, you see a bit of blood weeping from a wound, then uh, just whip this out and ch -ch -ch give it a little spray and that helps uh, fight any possible contamination of that open wound and looks after the welfare of the fish. And in a lot of places now, they actually go round, they'll have um, what do you call them, like a fish bailiff I suppose, and actually go round and have a look and see if you've got this with you on the bank. So um, don't uh, be uh, surprised if you get asked for those more and more. So pop into your local fishing stockists and grab yourself some carp care spray um, or fish care spray. I always catch carp so it gets into a habit with me. Um, now what we're going to also have a little look at in just a moment is the NGT XPR um, seat. Now again I get asked a lot of times what sort of seats do I recommend and again it's a very broad spectrum. What I would say is I always try and find for you guys who are just getting into the fishing side of things or you're interested in something which is competitively priced and still gives you a good level of um, comfort and care etc. That um, the XP are NGT's chairs um, in this case are very very good. Um, they're about oh, I don't know, 34, 35 pounds uh, but they're certainly adequate comfort. Um, you can get very easy because of the type of framework on the side. You can get clips for your bait trays. Um, you can get the rod rests that clamp onto the frame and have those multiple little grooves on the front of it. You just pop your rest on, have one back stand near you by the chair. Um, as you can have the rod literally right alongside. But they're certainly very stretchy and comfortable. Um, and I'll pop some of those onto the video and um, you can have a little look at those and then I'll give you a little chat about it and I'll take you around the chair itself. So bear with me and we'll come back to that in just a tick. Well, here I am again guys, over our local park. Very, very nice indeed. What a gorgeous day today over here in West Wales. It's um, probably somewhere over about 24 degrees at the moment, so uh, a lovely, pleasantly warm day with a very light breeze. But this is what I was talking about on the other part of the video. It's the NGT XPR chair. Very, very nice indeed. Solid metal arms, nice comfortable base for uh, a very petite body. Um, <laughs> and uh, very comfortable indeed. It's got a lot of padding all around the centre here. Good cross strut frame for strength. And you should be able to see that the legs all fold up very nicely indeed. It's got a self adjusting foot here. So depending even if you're on uneven ground and things like that, you can just very easily adjust that and uh, it will uh, give yourself a nice level seating when you're there. So uh, it does fold up beautifully. Close all these pieces up 
and oops, I'll put the right ones in first. And there you go, you can see roughly how narrow it is. Very easy for carrying, just grab hold of that, keep that against your side, absolutely wonderful. So there's no problems with that at all. She's um, probably about probably about four pounds in weight, maybe five pounds, two to three bags of sugar, um, something like that. But um, a very, very nice addition to the uh, carp gear or your fishing gear generally. And you literally just slide those out, put the feet straight, and away you go. Job done. So there you go, let's pop those like that, those out like that. And away you go. Time to chill out guys. But um, what I will do, I'll also show you these chaps. Back a bit. And of course you can use these sort of things on the seat as well. Typical sort of tray that you can clamp onto the chair itself. Nice adjustable base. These are about six pounds, seven pounds from your local fishing shop. Sometimes a little bit more depending on the brand. But uh, all you need basically is a rubber sleeve in the centre, uh, adjuster, and then you can clamp it on the upright. Or if it's a bigger, chunky one like this, you can actually go over the arm itself. Also, if you want to use your rod rests, you can get one of these. Simple push-in pivot holder for the rods. Adjustable on the actual neck itself here. You can loosen it up, pull that out, tighten it up, and uh, you have the extension. And again, you can clamp it onto the framework. It's a little part of the clamp there. I didn't bring the rest of it out of me. But you can clamp onto there. And then you can literally sit back, just have your rod right alongside you and enjoy the fabulous weather. But that's the NGT XPR. And uh, as I say, they retail some in the region of about £34, something like that. And you can find them on most of the internets that you hunt around. You'll find that. And of course, if you go onto NGT's website, you'll find a whole host of goodies there for you. But um, hopefully that gives you a couple more little tips to uh, take out with you from the internet today and the Novice Anglers channel. And uh, hopefully I might see you on the bank sometime. Tight lines, everyone. See you later.